Okay, LA. LA, what's up, ADOS there underscore SoCal. Follow us on Twitter. So, thank you so very much. Um, now, but there's this whole thing. I mean, first of all, how did you all get started? I mean, how did you find out about this? You, you mentioned something when you came to it after stuff was. Well, I uh, after the election, I started uh, BlackPack.org, and I was like. Black folks, we need a place where we can pull our resources, pull our monies, do certain things um, like fund legislative drafters, have attorneys, folks who are going to watch our back, right? Um, there are all these other cultures who are paying for these same services, but we're not pulling our money to do those things and to make sure we're protected. And I think with that, it it kind of creates a level of danger, right? We're left exposed. So that's what I started creating, and then I later found the ADOS movement. I was like, yo, this is exactly what, what we need to do. When you say you found, I just uh-huh. want to go back some basics. When you say you found the ADOS movement, what does that mean exactly? Um, where was I? Um, just really keeping tabs on things that were happening um, with politics. And then um, Yvette started coming into my feed, and that's when she had the show up. What's his name? I- Irony? I mean, yeah. I mean, what's his name? Mm. I- uh, Irony, Irony, yeah. Well, yeah. Irony. We just call him Irony for his friend. Yeah. Uh, so, o- o- Osei uh, 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 from Pong or something like that. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I found Breaking Brown, and then I, I later found Toe, and I was already watching Zoe Williams, and so I've been like. I love on, Zoe. On, me too. I've been on Black politics all my life, pretty much. Um, but I found Breaking Brown, and then the things that uh, Yvette was saying about just where we were economically, and she helped me with giving me the data, the, the real numbers about where black folks were um, in terms of the economy, uh, in terms of education, and how our failure was being masked by other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so that's how I found the ADOS movement. We, um, I got with a group of folks, and we started an ADOS SoCal chapter. Uh, in Los Angeles, it's um, follow us on Twitter, ADOS underscore SoCal. Uh, we're doing a lot of amazing things. We're trying to get Tone out to host a conversation. And um, what else are we doing? And, and we're actually just trying to do the local work, right? Like Los Angeles, we're 9% of the population in the city. And we're 40% of the homeless. Uh, we're 38% of the underemployed and unemployed in Los Angeles. We, we got some real work that we have to do in Los Angeles. And it's not a game in this year, 2020, or this election year. We're not playing. No black agenda, no rule. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, now, that, now that you found it, what, what, what's your strategy? Do you have some strategy? Uh, let me put it this way. How can, how can ADOS help your, your cause? Well, I feel like with... I feel like Tony and Vet have done a phenomenal job in providing us the resources, right? We look at these numbers, we see these stats, and we can apply them to our, well, we can actually see exactly where it is on a more microcosm in Los Angeles. And we need to figure out how do we remedy these ills in our area. We can't just keep not doing politics. We can't just not keep saying we got to do for self and no one else is doing for self. Other folks are doing the political work to make sure their people are funded, their people are taken care of, their people have access to uh, operating capital to own businesses, run businesses. We don't have that. Mm-hmm. And we don't have it because we're not doing the work and we're not making demands. And it's time that we stop being walking mats and we actually make demands of people who are seeking our vote. Mm-hmm. I just want to bring up one more thing. Now, you started this by, by like, talking about your, your, I guess it's a hashtag. Um, What's a hashtag? What's a, <laughs> and then with the SoCal, the, oh. the, of just the vote. Yeah, ADOS SoCal is a hashtag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, you, uh, you was here for the whole conference yesterday and today. Mm-hmm. Uh, so t- today we had a thing where, where, the, where a woman from Northern California was talking about social media so how does that play into I mean, did you learn anything from, what did you learn from the conference I guess from the I wouldn't school? say that I did not learn anything the, these are things we've already been doing right in, in Los Angeles specifically like we are in touch with our local legislators we actually are supporting an actual ADOS candidate who's, who's running for uh, uh, city council in Los Angeles in uh, District 8 um, yeah, we on top of it. It just needs to be. It just needs to be expanded. It needs to grow, and we just need more support. Okay. We need support. We need funding. Well, again, just one, 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 again, the last thing. Throughout the whole conference, was there anything that not surprised you, but really impacted you? you said, oh, let me, let me pivot towards this, or let me explore this more. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like the the. All the conversations were wonderful. Um, 
Let's see. The, the social media conversation was really great because it reminded me of how uh, we can definitely use social media to make political change, right? Like when I go to a restaurant or when I go to a bank and I feel underserved, I'm going to tweet something. And then, and I'm at them, and um, and next time I come to the bank or that restaurant, usually there's a change, right? We have to apply that same method of thinking to our, to our legislators, right? With these facts that we have, the the ills that are happening in our community, we have to point those out. You know, we we've gone to discussions with our local legislators, uh, Maxine Waters, Karen Bass, and we took those sheets, those information sheets, and it's like, right here, this is what's happening with Black folks. This is where we are economically. This is our wealth level here. What are we doing about this? To where Maxine Water clutched her pearls. Mm. So we have to highlight this information. It can't just assume that everyone has it and everyone's willing to do something about it. We have to push for it. We have no friends. I know that was my last question, but I'm just an observation because I was just at the Furious Fire um, a poetry thing in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, poets that are academics now. And it seemed like the academic world doesn't know about this. Now you're talking about the political world is trying to avoid it. Um, you're there. You're there in L.A. It seemed like the celebrity world is not dealing with it either. Uh, how, how are we going to permeate these these you know these stratas these these uh, stratums these worlds? You know, I feel like you know, and it's not just it's not just celebrities. It's not just academics. Even uh, well, I guess academics. Even like a lot of black professionals don't have this information. A lot of people live in their own bubble, and I think we have to still be willing to present this information to where people go, oh. I know I made it. I thought everybody made it, right? So, like, kind of pull them out of their comfort zone. Like, no, this is what's really happening. This is the work that needs to be done, and we need to knock on people's doors and demand that they do these things. Um, what was that? The Revolt Summit that happened a, a while ago, uh, a few weeks ago. And I feel like, or not even that. Scratch that. Edit that out. That's the Revolt Summit. Nipsey Hussle, right? I'm from Los Angeles. I'm in the Crenshaw District. The way Nipsey Hussle was memorialized because of the work that he was doing in his community, I think black people, we need to refocus our energy and demand you, if you, if we're your constituents or if we're your um, demographic, what are you doing for the community? We need to switch that. We need to be a self-interested people and stop allowing people to take advantage of us and demand what are you doing for the community though? That's cool and all. You dropped a nice album, what are you doing for the community? You can't come to LA unless you put money in the community. We need to start making demands of folks who are making money off of the backs of us. Okay, thank you for that. What's your name? What's your... My name is Tara, T-A-R-A. Okay, thank you so much, Tara. You're welcome. Blackpack.org.